Here at MCHS, we have built a winning team. I'd like to tell you about another local winning team, family owned and operated Bluegrass Restoration and Construction. They specialize in roofing, general construction, and home maintenance services. Give them a call at 859-353-1133. Row Tribe. From the Bluegrass Restoration and Construction Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Susie Martin. We've got mild moist air building across the Commonwealth, which is going to set us up with storm threats. In particular, as we head into our Thursday, a very wet day is expected for then, and then cold air feeding in, which may interact with some wraparound moisture and setting us up with some snow shower threats. And we're going to talk about that in just a bit. But let's take a look at our evening planner. We've got a pretty quiet night ahead of us. No big concerns. What we do see, though, are are the, is the opportunity for some showers to begin to build even for the day tomorrow, mainly during the afternoon and evening time frame. But we can see some of these showers spritzing through the region here as more moisture begins to build. A warm front will be tracking through the region. And then the next phase is a cold front that will be triggering rounds of thunderstorms for our Thursday time frame. Now there are some storm severe considerations to the west in western Kentucky for Wednesday. That seems to be an area the, of concern with a marginal risk. So not for us yet, but as we move into Thursday, the greater Richmond area is under that marginal risk for severe weather. So we'll be monitoring that. Uh, that just means that isolated severe events will be possible as we do have this warm moist air lifting across the region and this approaching area of low pressure. Colder air behind the system will be feeding in, setting us up with the potential for some snow showers. Now, rain wise, we're looking at over an inch of rain through Thursday. Snow, I think, is uh, going to be very limited in terms of accumulation. It might be challenging due to uh, the ground air temperatures and also some questions in terms of saturation across the layer. So that's something that we'll have to think about. But I don't think that it's going to be a high impact snow event or anything of the sort. That just doesn't seem likely. But a breakdown of the day tomorrow, we see waves of showers. Here's our extended forecast. Rain and rumbles, some strong Thursday. Then the cold arrives. This will switch us over into some snow showers Friday. Again, limited impacts there. Highs in the 30s.